I speak unto thee this day, I say, count it a privilege, a privilege, a privilege, to be guided forth by me. Count it a privilege to be uplifted and strengthened, directed and guided, and given the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. Count it a privilege to know that it is me that have been God alone of all the gods who is able to bring you forth. For I say, if you truly look upon what it is that I do, I say that I do miracles for my own. Now I say, this day you are living in times when many have gone in the way of confusion and delusion, and I say that they loved it so. That is, they have loved to be troubled by demon forces, being overwhelmed and taken in the same. But I say that I, the living God, do not call you to such vexation, but I say that I call you to the peace, the strength, the safety that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to guide forth the ones who are ever trusting, believing, and looking to me. And it is me, the living God, who will give the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope to any and all who takes my way. Now I say this day when I, the living God, did make man in my image and likeness, I did not make him to be a ghoul. Yet I say when you look upon humankind in this time, I say that people reflect the image of ghouls. And I say it is because they have so abandoned themselves to sin in the darkness of the same, I say they are overwhelmed. And I say they are taken down a road that will only end them in devastation, despair, and damnation of soul. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is allowing the fires of hell to burn upon those who are resisting me. And I say that I'm bringing those burnings to cause them to repent and return. And I say that I'm likewise releasing the agonies of the damned on those who are facing the same. And I say in the effort that I put forth to do the same, there will be some who will repent. But I say, for the ones who choose the way of their own pride and arrogance above my way, I say, there is nothing awaiting them except death and destruction. Now I say, this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is calling forth my militant ones who will obey me. That is, the ones who will walk in the power of my truth, my light, my mercy reveal. And I say, when I give forth my call and men and women will obey me, then I say that it is me, the living God, who will strengthen them to stand for me. And I say that they will be able to declare, proclaim who I am to a sin-sick world. Now I say there are endless multitudes who are found bound in that which is darkness, evil, and iniquity on every hand. And I say they are found bound in the wickedness of their own way. But I say that I, the living God, never called men to be bound, I called them to be free. That is, free to serve me, to love me, and obey me. Now I say that I give the call to repentance, and those who will hear and obey, they can be set free. But I say that the ones who will indeed compound wickedness by going in the way of perversion, by going under the Jezebel rule, I say they are taken in a way that damns their souls. And I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing down the seductive power of the Jezebel reign and exposing it for the utter filthiness that it is. And I say that I'm doing so because men and women are so needy of me. Now I say this day, be thankful that I am the one who gives forth truth, who gives forth light, who gives forth mercy. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide for. For I say, when any will pay heed unto me, then I say, they are guided in light. But I say, when men will puff up on pride and arrogance and vain conceit, of course, they are easily deceived. Now I say, you are living in times when nations have forgotten me, gone whoring, taken up the ways of the heathen, and oh, they love it so. For they think they have thrown off the restraints, the hindrances to sin, and they can go wild in the same. But I say, they are fools, for I say, they realize not that they invite to themselves invasion, deterioration, and utter destruction. So for all of their so-called freedom and abandonment, they have abandoned to their own demise. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be destroyed, but I say that I call you to be thankful each day to be serving me. And I say that I call you to be made glad for the privilege you've been given to walk in my way. That is, you have been given the privilege of truth and light, the privilege of strength and mercy, and the privilege of hope intended for all who pay heed to me. For I say it is indeed a good thing to keep on loving, serving, and walking in obedience unto me. 
and I say it is indeed a good thing to know that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust each day. Now I say this day be glad that I am the one who gives unto you the privilege to walk uprightly, the privilege to be ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say be thankful that I am the one who will guide you each day in that which I give to my own. For I say to me you are directed, corrected, and brought forth. And I say to me you are given the hope that only I can bring. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have never intended that my people would be found in the spiritual whoredom, the darkness, the evil intent of these days. And I say when my people will cleave unto me, they are guided each day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing forth the ones who stand ever present in truth. And I say it is through me that men and women are guided and brought forth. Now I say it is not the time to withdraw because of the circus acts that men perform. For I say they are fools who will be exposed in their folly and likewise damned. And I say for all of their proud exhibitions of how great they think they are, for all of the glamour, the glitz, the glitter that they bring forth, for all of the circus acts that they perform, I say in the end they are full of the futility of their own evil ways. For I say when men will think they may gain off of my kingdom, yet I say they refuse to live and abide in me, I say they are none of mine. For I say they are simply performers performing to their own damnation. Now I say this day when an actor will play a role that is exactly what it is. That is, it is not his true character, it is not his true nature, it is simply an act that he puts on. I say there are many in these days who are actors on a stage. That is, they perform their performance, they act as though they serve me. But I say they are under Babylon's Jesus in the Jezebelian rule and reign, serving lies. For I say they are hypocrites, mockers, and scoffers who gladly pursue the course of their own lust. And I say such ones as these are shame unto my name, which they use in vain. But I say, no, of a surety, it is me, the living God, who is revealing them in the darkness, the evil, the iniquity that they are guilty of. And I say, while they may act as though they love and serve me, it is not true. For I say, they are serving a multitude of other interests, other gods, other lovers, and in the same they are damned. For I say, they go off in a way of performance and think in the same, they have achieved some great thing. I say, they have a achieve deceit and the way of death and destruction of soul. Now I say this day that I the living God do see the damage that has been done throughout this earth by the power of the Jezebel spirits. And I say it is me the living God who is stronger than any of the spirits of destruction that lurk in the whore. Therefore I say do not be accepting of Jezebelian tactics and allow them to overwhelm your mind. But I say, instead, be accepting of the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength that I provide. For I say, it is through me, the living God, that you are uplifted, guided, directed, and brought forth. And it is through me, the living God, that you are given the truth and the light upon the path. I say, be made glad even now to continue to trust, to believe, to look to me. And I say, be made glad even now to partake of all that I give to my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness and truth, the way of all mercy and strength and hope provided. And it is me, the living God, who will ever guide forth, direct, and correct the ones who pay heed unto me. For I say, it is a privilege to believe me, to trust me, and obey me, and be brought forth by me day after day. And I say, it is a privilege to be a partaker of that which I intend for thee. I say, be made glad even now that you can continue to trust, to believe, to look unto me and know that I am. That is, I am the God of righteousness, the God of truth, and the God of mercy intended. And I say, when you are ever faithful and true unto me, you are not taken in a ditch, nor are you taken in the mire, the sludge, of the filthiness of the flesh. But I say that you are uplifted, guided, and directed each day by me. Now I say this day, do not think that the enemy has departed, because it is me, the living God, who has declared what it is that I do. But realize you are living in a time when the enemies are squawking and mocking, when they are indeed in hysteria over the fact that they lose. That is, they have gone berserk in the retributive damages they seek to render upon the just. But I say, consider that I, the living God, am the one who reigns supreme. 
And I say, continue to fight the good fight, continue to declare the truth, and walk uprightly in me. For I say, when you keep the standard, the dictate that I intend, I say, you are strengthened in me. But I say, when any will deviate, pervert, and twist the word in order to have their way, they have joined the Jezebel ranks. And I say, they will go down with the wicked queen and be devoured. For I say, it is me, the living God, who has had enough of the evil, the iniquity exhibited in these times. I say, this day, be thankful that in me you are given the truth, the light, the blessedness, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. And I say, be thankful that in me you are guided forth each day. I say, be thankful that in me you are given the blessedness, the mercy, and the truth, the light upon the path. For I say, through me, the living God, you are guided, directed, and brought forth. And I say, through me, the living God, you are given tender mercy time and again. Now I say, this day be glad for truth, for light, for strength and hope that can only be gained through me. And I say, be thankful that in me, the living God, you are ever guided in light. Be thankful that in me, the living God, you are directed, corrected, and brought forth. That is, that you can be strengthened, guided, and given the hope of who I am. Now I say, count it a privilege to rely upon me, to believe in me, and trust me day after day. And count it a privilege to be ever shown that I am well able. That is, I'm able to give you all that you need time and again. And I say that I'm able to bring you forth that you can be made glad, ever rejoicing in me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth. It is me, the living God, who is mercy and strength and hope given to all who are trusting in my way. For I say that I do not lead nor guide you in the way of fools, but I guide you in the way of my life. And I say that I call you to be made glad, thankful each day, to be ever purposed in that which I bring. For I say it is me, the living God, who brings to the ones who serve me the way of eternal life. And it is me, the living God, who brings to the ones who will obey me the way wherein they can be kept, directed, and guided each day. Now I say, this day you are not meant to be burdened down with the heaviness of sin and the oppression of oppressors, not at all. But I say you are meant to continue to refuse, refute, rebuke, and bind the unfruitful works of darkness, the activity of demons, that you are not subject to the same. For I say that I have not called you to be ruled by the wickedness of Jezebel, nor by her cohorts who are demons of darkness on every hand. Nor are you meant to be under the slime of the serpentine demons that are spread out in proud array. But I say you are meant to be made glad, ever thankful for the privilege to believe, to trust, and obey me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is truth and light, mercy, strength, and hope intended. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, guide, and direct you forth. For I say when you truly consider the privilege you have to serve me, to love me, and obey me, I say be rejoicing in me. That it is me, the living God, who is indeed the life source, the strength, the truth, the power, and the mercy intended for all who believe and trust in me. I say be me glad even now to continue in my way. That is the way of eternal life.